Welcome everybody to the Mitchell Boulevard and Birch Hill Road Water and Sewer Improvement Project Community Design Meeting. Your project manager is Liam Conlon. His uh, contact information is in the chat if you want to open up the chat, but it is also on the PowerPoint. And also, if you want to keep updated on this project, you go to www.fortworthtexas.gov and you will type in the project number which is 103420. All this information is also in the PowerPoint. Um, we generally update the page every time that the uh, projected end date changes or street names change or anything like that. So I am going to turn this over to Liam. Uh, good evening, everybody. Uh, we put a uh, small agenda together so that we'd have introductions, have a project overview, show a project area, Talk about frequently asked questions and timeline. So, like uh, Sally said, the project team is uh, the project manager is Liam Conlon. Uh, my phone number is 817 392 6824. My email address is uh, liam.conlon at Fort Texas, which is all one word, dot gov. And the engineering design consultant is Neil Schaefer, Inc. And the project manager there is Rick Simpson. So why are we doing this project? Uh, Fort Worth prioritizes replacing water and sewer lines that have a high risk of failure. Risk of failure is determined based on available data, which includes water main break history, leak history, closed circuit subdivision TV, which is CCTV, age of the line, line material, lead service lines, and now cast iron lines. The project overview is the cast iron mains will be replaced on Eastbury Street, Hanborough Court, Troutshire Street, Lowermore Lane, Spiller Street, Redken Road, Moresby Street, Sandgate Street, Mitchell Boulevard, and Birchill Road. Project scope, uh, this project is in Council District 8 and Council District 5. The existing water and sewer mains will be replaced in two project areas divided by Martin Luther King Jr. Freeway slash Highway 287 in East Fort Worth. Construction will impact the New Mitchell Boulevard Neighborhood Association and the United Communities Association. Project area, there's a number of pages. The Council District 8, we have Eastbury Street from Canberra Court to Mitchell Boulevard, water only. Canberra Court from Eastbury Street to Shropshire Street is water and sewer. Shropshire Street from Mitchell Boulevard, westerly to the dead end, water and sewer. Mitchell Boulevard from Eastbury Street to Morrowby Street, water and sewer. Laramore Lane from Sandgate Street to Mitchell Boulevard is water and sewer. Spiller Street from Sandgate Street to Mitchell Boulevard is water and sewer. Ratkin Road from Sandgate Street to Mitchell Boulevard is water and sewer. Moresby Street from Sandgate Street to Mitchell Boulevard is water and sewer. Sandgate Street from Eastbury Street south to Shropshire Street is water only. Council District 5 and Council District 8. The Birchall Road from Mitchell Boulevard to Binkley Street is water only. And in Council District 5, we have the alley from Birchall Road to McKinsey Street, which is sewer only. And both of these segments will be in Council District 8 uh, come the uh, May 6th election. Will your water be turned off? Water will be turned off for 15 to 30 minutes when service is transferred from the existing line to a temporary water line. And when the service is transferred back from the temporary water line to the new line, these switchovers are done during the day. The contractor will knock on your door and let customers know when the water will be turned off. The transfer typically takes 30 minutes per house or business. How does the temporary line impact my home and water bill? 
Temporary water line ensures that you are not without water during construction. In the summer months, the continuous flow keeps the water from becoming stagnant in the above ground line. During the winter months, water must be continuously flowing through the temporary water line, keep the line from freezing. Customers should also keep their faucets dripping. The bill for your water usage while you are on the temporary line is based on the average of the previous month's usage. Will you need access? Will we need access to your property? Construction will be in the streets and the easement. If Fort Worth Water needs access to your property, we will contact you. If an easement is needed for your property, a city land agent will be contacting you soon. Will sewer service be disrupted? Sanitary sewer service will not be interrupted. New sewer cleanouts will be installed at the property line. Sewer cleanout provides crews easy access if a backup or blockage occurs. The sewer line from the clean out to the house is the owner responsibility to maintain. Will I have access to my driveway during construction? An inspector will be assigned to the project when we are ready to start construction. The inspector and the contractor will work with residents who need driveway access during active construction hours. Will the city's trash truck be able to pick up my trash and recycling during construction? If your side of the street is closed on your scheduled trash collection day, contractor will take care, take your trash and recycling carts to the opposite side of the street so the trash collection vehicle can pick it up. Will there be lane closures during construction? Yes, and signs will be posted to alert motorists. What are the construction hours? The hours of construction are 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. Monday to Friday, and if requested by the contractor, 9 a.m. to 4 or 5 p.m. on Saturdays. Timeline. This project is still in the design phase. We expect to finalize the design, advertise for bids, and select a contractor in the summer of 2023. We will host another community construction meeting after we have a contractor on board before construction starts. Where can I get more information? Like Sally said, go to www.forwardtexasalloneword.gov and type in the project number 103 or 20 in the search bar on the home page. Mitchell Boulevard and Birchill Road water and sewer improvements will pop up. To get project page updates, roll down to the bottom of the project page and click on subscribe to this page. A link to the project summary, frequently asked questions will be linked to this project page. How do I report an emergency or non-emergencies? Emergencies, water main breaks, and sewer backups 24 hours a day. 817-392-4477, select option one. Non-emergencies, the water call center, 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Monday through Friday. Again, the same number, 817-392-4477. But these are closed on city holidays. Or you can download the My Forward app from the App Store or Google Play. You can report sewer overflows, leaks, and water main breaks, missing or broken meter lids, water theft, water violations, no water service, water pressure issues, and other sewer concerns. Again, your project team includes the project manager, Liam Condon, at 817-392-6824. And email is liam.condon at forwardtexas.gov. Engineering design consultant is Neil Schaefer, and the project manager is Rick Simpson. Thank you, and have a nice day. Does anybody have any questions or comments? Okay. Thank you all for um, attending the summary FAQs the, uh, and the PowerPoint and this video
should be posted to the page uh, by the end of this week. So check back if you want to look at it again. Thank you, everybody.